Hey guys, we are live. Happy Tuesday, 4.39 p.m. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I want to tell you what time it is. Hey guys. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Hi, Yana Bark. Hi guys. So I just wanted to come on and do a live tonight and hang out with you. I got um, a couple of new things queued up on the bed over here. That's why I keep looking. Um, and just thought I have stuff that I've kind of dipped into and kind of like tried out a little bit and have some initial thoughts. And then I have things that like are still in the packaging. And I thought we could do like a little live first impressions. Um, I got some gold fadden in, which I'm vaguely familiar with, but looking over the ingredients lists, there's a lot of grapefruit extract in the brand. You know, low down, but my skin doesn't like that. So, but they did send me a hand cream, so I can definitely try that because it's usually my face that doesn't like the, uh, the citrus extracts. So we'll be careful with that. But let's start first, first. Okay, so, so I got sent another LED mask. So I bought my own LED mask from, um, let me go get it. Okay. So I bought this one. It's called, I, this is how I store it. It's got this little Velcro thing that goes around your head. So this is, this is what it looks like. And it's called face light, right? and it's this flexible material. So this is the one that I bought, and I bought it for three or 350 from authorized retailer, Honeydew and Skin here on Instagram. She's a women-owned esthetician, small business, and is an authorized retailer of the face light. So I bought mine from her, and um, very happy with my purchase. I paid full price, um, and and it's got this, okay, so it's wireless. Well, you'll see what I mean. So there is a wire and it charges, but you can basically, you know, take this anywhere. You can take this outside and use it. That's what I mean by wireless. Um, actually, I'll even put it on for you, because why not, you guys? So you guys can see how it fits, because I'm gonna show you the one that I got sent in PR, and I have some initial thoughts about it, because I'm comparing it to this one. So this is why I wanna show you this one. So you kind of do this, you kind of Velcro it in the back, right? And I kind of drape this over my neck. Some people, Vanessa puts it in her bra like that. <laughs> but see how it kind of Velcro's back here and it sits really close onto the skin. Like it's touching my skin right now. And I can also see you, which is really nice. So you can walk around, you can lay down and watch TV, like whatever, right? And I really, really, really like this one. Okay. Oh, let me show you. Let me turn it on for you. Let me turn it on for you. Okay. It does a 10 minute timed session. Here's the little on button right here. That's like that. You can see it. Can you see it on? Okay. You can see that it's on, right? And if you want to turn it off, it, it'll automatically turn off at the 10 minute mark. Um, or you can just turn it off, which we will do now. Okay. So it's, it's off. Okay. So let's compare that to the one that I got in the mail as PR. And I didn't know what I was getting. I'm sure that I agreed to this because I I um, gave them my address, right? I gave somebody my address. Um, but I had no idea what I was getting. But this is what I got. Okay. This is the Peppy Co. Okay, so I'll show you the user manual because it's got their company logo on it. Okay, and this one is quite different, although I think it's legit. Um, just looking at the, quickly looking at the LED ratings, um, the specs on it. One cool thing that it has that my face light does not have is it has different colors. It has red, yellow, and the blue. It looks, the color looks purple, but I was like, no, that's not right. It's, it's blue. And red is the one I have and it's for anti-aging. It's for wrinkles, collagen, dermal repair. Um, the blue light that this one offers is for, um, 
fighting breakouts. Um, so it's supposed to be good for more breakout prone skin, right? You just got an LED mask from your fiance and I'm so pumped. Yes, I am a huge LED fan. I love LED and um, I'll even show you my little, my first LED device since we're all here talking this stuff. And then the, and then it, so this one, this, this peppy one also provides, um, it calls it detoxifying yellow light therapy and it gives you, it, it, and it gives you the, the nanometer wavelengths of, you know, each light and everything like that. So I did, okay, so that was one thing that I thought was really cool was that it does actually provide you the other lights. Okay, so now I feel like I'm going to kind of critique it a little bit, but let's, all, let's also give it a shout out that it is half the price. So this, I looked on their website, is $149, and I believe the face light retail, I bought this a while ago, so it might be less expensive now, or there might be discount codes, but I paid $350 for this one, okay? So big price difference too, right? Um, first off, from what I can tell, this has to be plugged in to turn on. There's no charging anything, right? So you're tethered in that regard. Like you have to be plugged in. So let's see, let me plug this in here. I do have a USB. I'm gonna unplug my phone. Hopefully I'm not unplugging you guys. Okay, but, and then as soon as you plug it in, it's on, right? It's on. There's no, I think the only button here, so it's already on blue, and I think because I touched it, is this button over here changes the colors. So now we're at yellow, now we're at orange, or red, sorry, red, and then back to blue. And, and I barely touched it and it went to yellow. So it's, it's very sensitive and it's right on where you're gonna be putting your hands. Um, so, it's, but it doesn't matter. You can put it on and touch it and change the color, no big deal. But I don't, I don't, after having the face light and being able to go anywhere in the house with it or anywhere I want with it, being tethered to, to having it have to be connected to power is kind of like, uh, but it's 150 bucks. It's half the price. Okay, here's another thing that I don't like about it, which um, you might notice. I don't know, does it bother you that the lights are on, you guys? Because I can just unplug it and turn it off. It put, they put these little eye protection sort of things in here, which means, but these aren't even sunglasses. This is blackout plastic. You can't see. So when I put this on right now, I can't see anything. Completely black. I'm blind right now. I can kind of see down this way, but not even enough to take a step with confidence. Okay. So that's a little freaky to me. Um, but also again, it's 149 bucks. Okay. Right. We're going to give them that. Hi, Leo. We're talking LEDs. I got this peppy brand um, LED as PR. And so I'm kind of comparing it against my much more expensive, but I think kind of worth it, um, face light, comparing it to the face light. Should we, should we make that the, the pin or the thumbnail for the video? I don't know. Anyway, maybe just me wearing this. We should make this the thumbnail. Should we do this? Do you guys like that? Okay, so you can't see, There's there. these are not sunglasses, these are completely blackout, right? Okay, and then the, okay, so now I'm tethered to the wall or some sort of a device because it, it must be plugged in. And then when I go to wear it for, I think it's a 10 minute session, same as the face light. But when I go to wear it, I ha I can't see. I can't see anything, right? Okay, so that's another thing I don't like. And then also, okay, I'm tall and I might have a big head. I don't know, but this thing is a little uncomfortable tight. Like, it's like this. I, it, it's already uncomfortable back here and back here. Um, so, oh, and okay, here's another thing I don't really like about it. I kind of worry, okay, when it's sitting on my face, I showed you when I have the face light on, it's like, it's touching my skin, right? It's right on my skin, okay? But when I have this on, 
look how far away it is from my skin. So I'm kind of like, maybe they calculated for that, right? Let's just say that they calculated for that. But look at, so here's, I can't even pull it closer. Oh, there, I'm changing the color. Okay, so I just can't get it very close to my skin, which gives me concern of how much of the LED therapy am I getting. But again, maybe it's com completely, ca hey, great for naps only, right? <laughs> I like that, that's a good one. For napping only, if it weren't so uncomfortable, because I do like to fall asleep on my back, but yeah, it's like, I don't know. And, um, you know, this is a little creepy looking too. Like this isn't like looks wise, which one would you, you know, I don't know. Okay, so there, those are things that like, because I have the face light, hi Becky, I'm not, because I have the face light, I am not super excited to use this. One, because it hurts, it's uncomfortable to wear. I can't see out of it. I have to be tethered to power to get it to, to, to power on. Um, what else? And the lights are far away. Did I already say that? Like we've already listed off all the things, with, which those are kind of a lot of things. But they did send it to me and it's 150 bucks. So and it, it's getting a little warm in my hand right now, which is perfectly fine. I'm not upset about that. Um, but I'm kind of wondering like if there's another part of my body that I could use it on so that I'm not having to put it over my ears, right? And I'm not completely like blind, right? The Saluma, let's hope I'm saying that right. LED device does not touch your face, but the lights are strong enough um, to factor in the distance between the mask and your face. You know what? Okay, so Leo, I was totally thinking that. I was like, I, I think that that's okay. Because when you go to a spa and get LED, they don't touch your face with the LED. It's like this thing that they like, almost like they, you're driving into a garage and this garage kind of comes, like hovers over you. And it's, you know, this far away from your skin, obviously that's how it's supposed to be used. So yes, I, I would say with confidence, yes, I would agree that this is, that this is okay, that they're calculating for this, you know, and it's gonna work. Um, I'm wondering like, if I could like take these off and like use it on my abdomen, cause I'm starting to get creepy skin on my abdomen. I don't know if it's from recent weight loss, but I'm noticing it on my arms a little bit too. You guys have been recommending products to me. Please keep those coming because I would like to reverse that. But I'm wondering, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really hot to dismantle this thing just yet. Oh, but the Saluma is like a thousand dollars. Don't know if a hundred and fifty dollar device does that. Yeah. Okay. A thousand dollars and a hundred and fifty dollar device, totally different. And I think this is an Australian brand. Is it? Is it? So, but I could swear, I could swear when I Googled and went on their website today, I could swear that it was in US dollars. The you know that they probably could tell that I was in the US and if I wanted to shop, they sent me to the US site is what I'm assuming. And why did I think that they were Australian? Ah, because they sent me a cleanser and um, they have a peppy cleanser. I thought maybe, okay, so I have, no, no, no. I've already decided um, Goldfadden sent me a cleanser but it has citrus in it. So I'm not, I'm not gonna play with that tonight. So, but I thought that we could, like just cold first impressions use their cleanser tonight i could maybe try to read off the ingredients to you which is embarrassing of me but i've looked at the ingredients and there's nothing um alarming you know my i i think it might be a little bit drying but i can fix that one one use isn't going to um mess that up for me so i thought maybe we could use that and then, um, so those are my thoughts on it so far. I think for half the price of the face light, it something like this might be worth looking into. Um, 
but ha already having bought a $350 face light and it's so comfortable and I really like it. I, the fact that this one just hurts. I just, my head is so big and the, it's just not, it just hurts right here. And I can't see, I'm completely blind. Okay, I'll stop complaining. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so um, they also sent me like a serum and I think like a face brush. I'm not much of a face brush person just because my skin is sensitive in the regards that I don't like to drag things or do too much other than just hand manipulation massage, but I might try it. I don't know. I think get lymphatic drainage going would be nice. The minute I saw you going live, I ran to the bathroom to start doing my routine. Let's wash our face together. It's time. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so that's the Peppy LED mask. And this was sent to me in PR. And these, I just, I, tr I took it out of the box. I kind of played with it one night. I tried, I wore it for a 10 minute routine. Um, the thought of me using it going forward feels very low just because it hurts to wear it. The, these, it's too tight on my head and it doesn't seem adjustable. So if anybody can think of an idea as to how I could use this, maybe like on my shoulder, or maybe I could break the arms off and use it on my abdomen, which I'm already kind of, I'm already doing with the face light. But you know, I could like double duty. I could wear the face light on my face and put this somewhere else, you know. I don't know if anybody can think of anything. Um, and it's, but it, if, it might be worth trying if you're looking for something more affordable than the face light, you know, I don't, right. And it's, and it's got the different colors, yellow, blue, and red. So that's good. If you're looking for the different colors. Okay. So there's the LED mask. And then I got this whole huge box of gold fadden. Um, oh, you're using the Jordan Samuel sensitive after show. Oh, I love that stuff. So good. So good. Okay. So we are going to wash our faces. Are we going to wash our faces together? You guys want to wash your face with me? Okay. You guys can see that I have badges up there. That's something Instagram is asking me to do. Um, but yeah, don't mind it. Um, or, okay. Or if somebody, cause I went on to somebody's live today and I saw it was, um, Meredith. Anybody else follow Meredith? Meredith. What's her handle? Like, it's like Meredith. I think it's the code for Dallas Fort Worth. Maybe. I don't know. But I follow Meredith and I saw that she went live and I saw that they, that they had badges on. She was uh, living with um, somebody else and I saw that she had badges and Instagram has been trying to get me to do this badge thing and I, I don't even know what it is right so I just turned it on but I saw that in their live they had it on so I went and clicked buy a badge and you can buy a badge for I think the lowest price one was 99 cents so I clicked buy a badge just just because I want to see what it does so if one of you out there wants to spend 99 cents just to help me test this out, please, by all means do. But other than I, it's almost just because I'm just kind of curious, like, are they giving me that 99 cents? Is Instagram taking a cut of that 99? Like, I don't even understand it. They're just trying to incentivize me to go live with badges turned on. So going into Meredith's live today was the first time I saw somebody with badges and then thought, oh, I'm gonna click it to even see what the option is as a viewer. Okay, okay, wait, okay, okay. If somebody just bought a badge, yes, Leo did. Oh my, okay, sorry, I don't mean to shout you out, but it tells me that you just bought one. And then, okay, so, okay, so full transparency, because this is the first time I've ever seen this happen. It says um, 69 cent estimated earnings, one badge. So, so did this person who just bought a badge, did they just buy a 99 cent badge? And then, okay, so is Instagram taking a cut? Is that what's happening? Like, yeah, total social experiment right now. Like, I'm just like, I'm enthralled because I'm just kind of like, if they're really trying to incentivize me to turn on badges, 
but they're not quite 100% explaining to me what they are before I turn them on. I do, I kind of get, go into this whole social experiment thing. Okay, so Leo is telling me that he bought a 99 cent badge. Okay, so now two badges have been bought. Okay, and I could swear the lowest option is a 99 cent badge. So Instagram is taking a cut. I mean, which, you know, more power to them. I'm using their platform for free, but not now. So, okay, so that's interesting. So I, so we now have two, oh, sorry, two badges bought. I bit my lip the other day and I keep biting it and I got, cause it's swollen now. So I'm sorry. That's what that was. Um, okay. Okay. This is cool. This is cool. Um, if you guys want to keep buying, buying badges, by all means, please do. But this experiment has, it, we've now got it explained. Um, they, they will take a cut. I mean, whatever, whatever. So buy them, don't buy them, don't, I do not care. But thank, but thank you to those that did Mystic, Mystico 08, that's Alex, hi Alex. So thank you um, for helping me with my experiment and helping to answer those questions. Um, but yes, um, no need to buy any more for the experiment. Um, okay, on, on your end, you'll have to see what comes into your pocket. Yeah, so Alex, it says that I have, so it, it's got a little black bar at the bottom and it says two badges a dollar 38 estimated earnings so they're already they instagram's taking a cut of your 99 cents for buying my badge so this is this is educational that you know but why did why don't they tell you that when they're incentivizing me to go live hi jesse go live with badges go live with badges turn badges on turn badges on it's like because i mean which is fine it's totally fine but the lack of transparency okay Let's, well, we're going to try, we're going to try this new cleanser. I mean, the LED mask was just kind of from the brand, but you know, this could be a winner. We don't know. I've looked at the ingredients. I don't see anything harmful. Hello. <laughs> um, so we're going to try it tonight. Um, I thought real quick. Okay. And then I thought we could bust out the Golden Fadden Bright Eyes. It does have some grapefruit extract in it, but usually my eyes are okay with that type of stuff, with fragrance and whatnot. So I thought we could try that. I have had this Gold Fadden um, Bright Eyes eye cream before, and I really remember liking it. So that'll be nice. I guess so glad you did, did this. Now we know. Yeah, so like now you guys know when you go to buy a badge, um, for whatever reason you would want to buy a badge, I don't know. I think they can, you can also do like a fundraiser too. There's like a fundraiser badge so that my, my would that mean, and I'm only guessing that my estimated earnings would then go to that charity and would Instagram still take a cut? I, I don't even know, but thank you for helping me. Thank you, Alex. And I hope you love your lamps. Alex and I have matching lamps from Target. Um, doesn't that have vitamin K? It's supposed to be good for dark circles. I think it does. Hold on. Hold on. I have all these boxes out here. Where is my packaging for the bright eyes? Oh, here it is. Okay. Grapefruit peel oil. It's always like the bad things that are bad for me that like pop out at me. Um, light. Visibly brights, brightens the eye area, reduces the appearance of under eye puffiness and fatigue, minimizes the appearance of fine lines. Soy peptide, rice, bran, extract, and arnica. So would the arnica be really good for um, brightening? And is that, and is arnica a version of K2? Or vitamin K. Look how the box came like so messed up. It's, it's cute. But yeah, maybe I'll um, copy and paste the ingredients um, when this goes to IG. Um, yeah, I love Arnica too. My um, my esthetician, um, nurse practitioner will put it on me um, after. Um, when did she put it on me? What were we doing? Was it laser hair removal? She will, she, was it hydroquinone? She put hydroquinone on my skin after we did laser hair removal and she says it like pulls the heat out 
up the skin. Was it hydroquinone? No, no, hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone, okay. Liz, stop saying words that you mix up and then say something like totally wrong. Okay, so, um, oh, and then, okay, this one I'm really excited about. Paula's Choice sent me their brand new, right? Is this new? I've never seen this before, but they have so many products. Okay, so this is PR that they sent me, and it is Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster with Squalene. I love a good lippy, um, but I see it's a hyaluronic acid and peptide lip booster with squalene. And it looks like it's got like this metal applicator. I have not opened this at all. I thought we could open that together. Um, oh, they use it for sclerotherapy. Nice. Oh, you've been wanting to try this, the lippy? Okay, so we'll, we'll do, we'll do, okay, so let's get to work. Let's, let's, let's get our butts in gear, people. Um, I'm going to watch Seth qualify for hockey tonight, but, oh, the Dr. Dennis Gross Lippy is still by far my favorite. Still by far my favorite. We'll see how this one rates against that. Um, and the Dr. Dennis Gross one, okay, so this one just from the picture looks like it's more ointmenty looking. Do you see that? Where the Dr. Dennis Gross one is like skincare for your lips. Like it's like you could you could put it all around your lips. It's not ointmenty at all. So um, after the spider vein treatments, they put arnica on my legs. Yes, that's really good. You know what? That would have been good to put on mine. And I'm thinking about doing um, another session of sclerotherapy. Um, if anybody, if you if you don't know what that is, it's um, it's a uh, spider veins on the skin, um, specifically on my legs. And I have an IGTV video for it. Um, if you want to actually see them performing sclerotherapy on me. Um, but it basically is a solution that they inject into the veins with a needle and it collapses the vein, the veins basically. So, um, but I, I love the Dr. Dennis Gross lippy. We're jumping around. Sclerotherapy, lip balms. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, sorry about that. Where my Dr. Dennis Gross lippy is at. If not, I can bust out a brand new one. But I just kind of feel like I always have one at the ready. Um, I feel disorganized today, though. Okay, let's start. Let's let's just start with step one, which is remove my mascara, and I'm almost done with my. We could just finish this up tonight. This is the my favorite by phase um, eye makeup remover. Um, oh yes, Jocelyn, the Dr. Dennis Gross Lippy is the. I mean, it seems like it's expensive. But mine always lasts me the longest amount of time. And then once I get down low, I like, and they don't squeeze out as well, I cut them open and use a Q-tip and get out every last bit. And it, they're amazing. I have so many. I have two backups in my cabinet over here. Um, okay, have you tried the cosmetics one? No, I haven't. Should I? Yeah, I use the Dr. Dennis Gross one at night. During the morning, I get the La Roche-Posay Cicapas Lovers for lips, but not available in the U.S. Oh, I wonder if it would be available on that French Cosmetics for Less um, site. Well, that guy, he will order um, French Cosmetics for Less. <laughs> for, but he'll, he orders them directly. Okay, so I'm out of my Intrinsic Silken Wipes, the little 2 by 2s so I'm using um, a package of Shiseido's. Um, that's these. Oh, there's the Dr. Dennis Gross, I found it. I'm using these, which I have had a pack of these for years and I'm like, I need to not throw them away. These are good. They just, I feel like they just kind of absorb a lot of product. And which is why I like the, um, the intrinsics so much better. I have them in my cart on Amazon. I just need to get them bought, but, and because let's say, okay, because I don't have much of this left, I'm kind of worried that if I, 
it's not going to soak two of these. So let's just go with the um, the, the Cogendo water. I'm going to do the Cogendo water. I'm really liking this cleansing water again, and I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to like turn back to the cleansing waters and not get and not repurchase this. I don't know. I haven't been without this for years. So I don't know. Just, you know, just how I feel. Yeah, it lasts a long time. The cosmetics ones. Okay. No, wait. No, that was Alex that was asking me about that. Yes, the Dr. Dennis Gross Slippy does last a really long time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so, it, and then just, just find the Dr. Dennis Gross one on sale. Um, I think um, Derm Store um, is having a sale um, right now, and I think they're doing a 20, Derm Store is doing a 20% off with Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, hopefully it's not out of stock because I made a whole long list of my favorites and put it on my shop list and did all this work for the sale. And then the sale starts and I go and check on my items on the it's everything it's like sold out. Like the Revita Lash is still there, but it's like, and I know you guys didn't all buy through my favorites. That's just everybody else did. I guess my favorites are popular. They're other people's favorites too. Okay, that stung a little bit. I got a little bit in my eye. Hmm. I got the sweetcare.com, really good price. Oh, I got it from sweetcare.com, really good, and free shipping. Oh, you know what? There is nothing better than either qualifying for free shipping or a website that offers free shipping no matter what. Skin Beautiful RX does free shipping no matter what. Tosca European Spa, she sells BR and a bunch of other brands now. Free shipping. I mean, I just, yes, and Skin Store sometimes has it on sale too. So just find it on sale. I know um, Colt Beauty, if you're down for shopping um, through, you know, if you're a, a US customer like I am and you're gonna shop with Colt Beauty, which is in London, um, I have a really good post on how to do that and, and why I do that. And the number one reason is the price. I get way better prices um, over there because they, they, they list their products on their website with tax um, included. That's their laws there. Um, but I don't live there, so I don't pay their tax. So as soon as you put it into your cart, it strips away the tax. But anyway, I have a little cheat sheet on um, Liz Alaska Beauty Reviews or I think I have a Colt Beauty highlight and it's probably a swipe up there or a, one, of the, one of the stories in, in the highlight uh, labeled Colt Beauty. And it'll, it'll give you all the really good reasons why I shop Colt Beauty. Um, and getting this there is um, one of those reasons, is just the prices. So I just used the Cogendo. Okay, so I do have on SPF, so I am kind of feeling like before we just cold go into this cleanser, because what if I hate it? Okay, I don't know what we should do. No, let's just, let's dive in. Let's just dive in, let's just do it. Okay, this is um, Peppy uh, Co. Made in Australia, day and night gentle cleanser. It says soap free, non-drying formula. All of these things sound good to me. Um, the ingredients list, I don't see any red flags, but I'm also not going to read off the ingredients list to you guys because I don't pronounce stuff very well and I end up just giving up. So let's, let's just, we'll give up now. Um, okay. So a light, a lightly foaming face gel. Okay. A face gel wash that gently removes all traces of dirt and makeup. Okay, so it claims that it removes makeup to leave the skin thoroughly cleansed and refreshed without irritation or discomfort, formulated to gently exfoliate and purify the skin. Okay, gently exfoliate. The only exfoliating ingredient I saw was salicylic acid but it's the third to last ingredient. Jesse, it's this Peppy brand. 
And I know you weren't here at the beginning. I love, look at, look at me and my readers. And then I get up close, look how big, look at my eyes look so big. <laughs> um, they sent me some PR and they sent me an LED mask and I kind of modeled it and had some sort of you know, first impressions. So, but I thought we could try their cleanser. I mean, but it's, so it has salicylic acid as its third to last ingredient which Jordan Samuels matinee has salicylic acid down low. So, and that doesn't bother me. So, and down pretty low on the list, it does have a fruit extract, Kadadu plum, K-A-K-A-D-U plum, fruit extract. Maybe that's gonna give it a smell. Let's hope not. Okay, if this goes badly, we're gonna do this on live. So, here we go. Okay, let's see if it has a, yep, it's got a seal on it. So we're gonna take that off. So you guys know I have not tried this yet. I'm not smelling anything. I don't smell anything. I should put my hair back a little bit, a little bit more. So I do, I do have somewhere to go tonight. So I don't wanna get the hair too wet. Okay, I okay, wanna try this. Nice, but I mean, you already have one of the best LED masks. Yes, so if you go back and watch at the very beginning, you won't have to fast forward through much. I'm gonna put this on IGTV. I bring out the face light and like show you like how much I love it. And then I bring out the, the peppy one and I'm just kind of like, there's this and there's this and there's this. There's like four or five things about it that I'm just like, but it's 150 bucks. And, oh, that was right, let me, you guys, okay. Really quick, back to the LED topic while we're here. I did want to show you guys, this is my very first, well, besides the um, Dr. Dennis Gross, um, they sent me their eye mask that was like a sunglasses that you put on and it does LED to your eyes. That thing is really cool. This is the first LED that I ever spent money on. I bought the LED head for my face light, or I'm sorry, for my new face. So this is the Trinity um, new face, which means the Trinity has the detachable heads. So you can interchange the heads. There we go. Okay. And I was worried like when I went and bought the face light, right? So this was $150, just this attachment, just not the whole Trinity, but just this attachment, right? It's an investment. And I was worried when I bought the, um, the face light that I wasn't gonna use this anymore, but I still use this. I'll use it on my neck, okay, because the face light, I'll lay it on my neck, but you know, get in the sides of my neck, do here, or if I just wanna do a really quick treatment, I'll do here and then here. And this is um, three minutes per treatment versus the face light is 10 minutes per treatment. And so I'll kinda of like lay down with the face light on my face and then I'll, do this on my neck. So I can do like, what, three, three minute treatments would be nine minutes. So I can, you know, so I'm still, so the cool thing is, is I spent money on this and I'm still using it even though I have the face light. Let me show you the face light. Just because, I, just because I'm talking about it again, I kinda, okay, so here's the face light and here's this, this little guy. And so I'm just really happy that I'm still putting this to use, you know, the money that I spent on it, if that makes sense. Um, and finding uses for it. I feel like, I feel like this does a really good job of immediately making these lines here, these smile lines look better. Like the minute, the second I take it off, and maybe it's superficial, maybe it's just from the heat of it, but I, I could swear as soon as I remove it, it it looks plumper. Like if I do this one right here, and then it does a three minute session, and I take it off and I compare it to this one, it's like immediately looks better. It's awesome. You can use the new LED on your chest while you lay down. That's what I, okay, so typically I'll do the face, I'll lay down um, and watch TV, have the TV on, cause I, it has eye holes I can see. Um, and I'll do my face and then I'll turn it, hold on. And then I'll turn it vertically 
like this and I'll do my neck, but you see, it doesn't quite wrap around my neck. I'll do my neck and my chest and then I'll go and I'll push it up my shirt and kind of do like right here to help cleavage lines to really get that. And then I'll go all the way down here onto my belly to help because I have like kind of crepey skin I'm getting here. I don't know if it's from recent weight loss or what, but I just to kind of help that. So I'll do one, two, three, and then four. And a, a charge will do that many sessions. Um, so I don't have to go and plug it back in and recharge it or anything like that. So that's really nice. I'm just, I'm, am I selling you guys on the face light? <laughs> I bought it from Honeydew and Skin. She will sell it to you. She will ship it to you. She is amazing. So, um, yes, you can, and, and that face light, the way that it's flat and flexible like that, you can pretty much put it anywhere on your body where the peppy one, it's got that hard shape and not flexible. So, okay, so let's, Okay, so it's got a little pop top here. Here we go. Let me try to get it in here so we can all, oop. Oh, that just like poured out. I did not even squeeze the tube. Okay, but let's, you know, we're testing this out. Let's go all in. Like that's just pouring out. So it's very runny. <laughs> there it is. Feels cool in the hand. Almost like has like an aloe vera sort of consistency which is nice. It's sort of getting a little bit of a foam in my hand and I'm just going with dry hands onto dry skin. I didn't even wet the skin. It's got, it's got that sort of drugstore, no scent, soapy smell. Yes. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should just pop it out and show it to you really quick. But it, like I fully put it on and like it's tight on my head. And yeah, it's like a hard plastic. It's got like a cool looking like robot -y sort of thing, but you can't even see through it. You're completely blacked out. So, I'm going to add a little bit of water just to get some more slip going here. I think I've got plenty of product. And I did wear SPF today, so we're, we should do... A, a double cleanse and if I don't know so far I'm not flushing which is good I always like to not see any flushing on the skin it's moving it feels like a very traditional um, cleanser that I would have used back in the 90s back when I was in high school um, I always try to put SPF on my ears Let's get that off. And then I'm still gonna do it the way I always do it, which is with a Jordan Samuel washcloth. But this this consistently consistency could totally be splashed off. Um, I'm going over my eyes and I feel no sting whatsoever. No sting. So that, I mean, this is good. My only concern now is that, is it gonna be too dry? Similar to the Holy Fog gel. Oh, I haven't tried their gel cleanser. I have their Milky Wash, which I love, because I was like, it's not like the Milky Wash, but their gel cleanser. Look at that. Very, like, really gets a foam up in there. Not like a heavy foam, but for me, it's that's really foamy. But I'm enjoying it. Do you see me? Like, I'm like, let's go. Okay, so I could splash this off. Oh, let's, should we just try splashing it off? Look at my mascara is still coming off. I didn't do a very good job of taking it off, did I? Well, the, the peppy cleanser seems to be wanting to take it off, so. That's the only makeup I have on today is a little bit of face powder and um, mascara. Look at that. You see that? There's more mascara coming off. Okay. So I'm gonna do my typical um, cool water, fresh clean washcloth. And then, I don't know if it does what it, I think it's doing, we'll just go ahead and do a double cleanse with it. Like, why not?
I love how it didn't make my skin like red at all. Okay, this cleanser is kind of redeeming the brand because the, and I mean, if you want to make a less expensive LED mask and sell it for half the price as the face light, I mean, that's the way to go. I mean, they're expensive, right? So you can see why. I would almost be suspect if they were, if it would look just like the face light and had the same quality. So I felt like I had a hair on my face. I guess not. But look at that. That feels good. And um, my skin, it's starting to want product. It's not like that super comfortable after cleansing kind of feeling um, like it's starting to feel tight in a non-ideal way, but I'm not panicking. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not panicking. Okay, but let's go ahead and, I'll go ahead and um, cleanse again with it. Getting, here's my um, hooks. I was showing these to Leo last time in the um, last live. I get these off of Amazon and just hook these up on my, um, on my shower rod here. Oh, can you see that? And then when they dry, I just throw them in the laundry. So, um, but I got those at Amazon. Hopefully, I wonder if Leo got them yet. Okay, so let's, ugh. I don't know if that really feels ideal. I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna double cleanse, but I'm gonna pick the Jordan Samuel matinee um, cream cleanser. Um, I don't know, I'm just, my skin feels like a little sticky, like, like maybe I didn't get it off well enough. But I mean, you should be able to splash this cleanser off, right? Like, let's just, I'm gonna just try getting another washcloth just to see. Um, <laughs> you can't believe you're living with that. Uh, you bought them. Are you are you the, are you so excited that they're coming, Leo? That you're just like tracking them. Like, where are they now? Where are they now? Okay, so let's try. Let's. I'm gonna just for experimental purposes because my skin is actually starting to feel a little tacky, especially my neck. So let's go into the neck first. Maybe I just didn't get it all off, or I don't know. I'm not really liking that feeling. I just feel like I'm kind of going in with a little exfoliation with the washcloth this time, which I kind of do. So if you see my skin turn a little pink, it's because I am purposely being rough. Giving a little bit of manual exfoliation. And I feel like I still have mascara on. Which either I did a bad job or the cleansing water didn't do that great of a job. But hopefully by the time I'm done cleansing, all the mascara will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> right okay so let's see how that feels yeah I would say that this probably this formula is probably more ideal for a younger more oily skin just initial reactions and but not bad for my skin but I'm okay I'm about to show you like my jam of my jam cleansers which is the Jordan Samuel um, Matinee Cream Cleanser. This is the bomb diggity, okay? This, did I just say that? I think I saw a meme with bomb diggity in it, and now I'm, oh, it's coming out of my mouth. Um, oh, the face light mask is model developed by Omnilux. So face light, light salon, Priori are all the same masks, just different brands because they all license the design from Omnilux. I got that. Okay. They like looking at them um, when they were sort of all launching and coming out and you know, um, they all looked so similar. Um, oh, the hooks have arrived and being put to use. Yeah. They're life changer. They're a closet organizing changer. You you can put so many things on them. Um, I even hang my bra on them at the end of the day. 
and instead because I don't like putting clothes that I've worn back into the drawer but I'm gonna wear that bra again so I'll just hang it up right there on one of those hooks so anyway okay so I'm about to show you like my all-time favorite cleanser and I can gush over how much I like it and why um, you don't need to but he recommends applying it to wet skin and because I'm extra bougie and I love a vent thermal water this is a good way for me to use it so I will mist my skin and then dispense and that's the cream cleanser it has silt in it which that's what gives it that color and it just the way it glides on my skin this does not foam up in any way it just really invites massage. It glides and feels great. Goes across the eyes perfectly. Um, and of course, the way it leaves my skin feeling is going to be more comfortable than the way um, my skin was left feeling with the peppy stuff. I think like it wasn't. I didn't really like how it finished. Okay, so I just wet my hands just to add some water and somebody oh my god I felt so bad um, somebody saw my post this morning about using the matinee gel cleanser the Jordan Samuel matinee gel cleanser with my new face microcurrent as the conductive gel so if you didn't see that it's the post from today but I've been doing this for a while and you know I just kind of shout it out every once in a while like this is epic for me um, to use the matinee gel cleanser as your conductive gel when you're doing the microcurrent with the new face. And the per, it's, somebody saw me post about it, so they went and bought it, but they paid full price for the cleanser. And I was like, oh no! And they like tagged me and I was like, next time use my code. Like, so shout out, I have a Jordan Samuel Skin website uh, discount code for 15% off the entire website. You can even use it to buy one of his hoodies, which I have two. Um, and the code is Liz Alaska 15 and you just type it in at checkout. I think it's in all caps and get 15% off that order. <laughs> uh, they didn't, they only bought the one cleanser, the one tube and, and they seemed to not be terribly upset, but I felt so bad that I was talking to him probably about it in the comment section and didn't mention the code. Um, so I will try to mention that stuff more because I hate for anybody to pay full price for a product, especially when, I ha when I've been telling them about it and somehow forget to tell you guys about the code in the comments. I just, it sort of just feels like salesy when I do that when really I, you know, I'm talking about a product that I like and oh, by the way, here's a discount code, you know? So try to throw that in there a little bit more. Again, another Jordan Samuel skin. This is the Jordan Samuel skin uh, facial claws that I, I use nothing but these. Um, and these are also on his website and you can get them 15% off with my code, Liz Alaska 15. <laughs> so, oh, I love these. I like to use the rougher side and, um, or it's not a rougher side. It's a shorter microfiber side. And then the other side is, can you see it's more plush and it's microfiber and Terry, um, combo like blend. Right. So I'll go and then get the bulk of the cleanser off with the shorter side. And then I'll kind of go in with a little manual exfoliation. It's just something I like to do. And I don't do it every cleanse. I'm just kind of, I don't know, feeling it right now. And then I go on the the more plushy side. And I this is what I call the cloud kisses because I literally just want to keep doing this. Like it just feels good. It's like cloud kisses. So, I don't know. Just the way I describe it. Okay, his towels are always sold out but I could swear that his two packs are in stock because he sells these in packs of two and then in packs of seven are the two packs. Does anybody want to pop off and go check and see? Cause I could swear, or maybe I could just link to them. And I was, 
sending a link to people that said sold out. How mean is that? I shouldn't do that. Yeah, that would have sent me. Okay, now my skin does not feel sticky, especially my neck after using that cleanser. What was that? Okay, so that feels good. Um, so there's that and that. Okay, we're, so we're gonna do the lippy, we're gonna do the gold fat and eye cream. Um, one thing I've been doing lately, instead of using the Pico Silver, which is my diehard favorite after washing mist, is I found this while I was cleaning out my um, cabinet, and this is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, and I thought, you know what, I should really start using that again. And I have it decanted into a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist bottle because, first of all, it's easily refillable. Thank you, Tatcha, right? And the mist on this thing is so fine and so beautiful. And it's and this is really expensive. And you're supposed to like splash it out in your palm and splash it on your face, which I do like doing. I do like doing, but if you're trying to uh, be very sparing with the product or, you know, um, don't want to waste it or spill it. This is the way to go. Watch this mist. I was a little decadent in my application because I wanted, because I'm demoing it. That's what I'm doing. Oh, mm, Patera. Oh, is it sold out? Thank you for checking though, Alex. Oh, I guess, you know, I thought the two packs were still in stock. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, so I found this in the back of my skincare cabinet thinking I need to bust this out and use it and I kind of want to be consistent. And maybe this will be a good test to see, I was using the Pico Silver because it was really keeping breakouts away. So if I take a break from it, am I gonna notice the breakouts return? I don't know, I've been using it for so long. But anyway, while my skin is still wet, moist, Let's put the Neogenesis Recovery on it. I try to do a third or a half of a pump. It's very runny all over her face and neck, all over the eyes. While well, the skin is still wet. And then quick, while the skin is still moist, Rescue from Osmosis. I try to do like a third of a pump, something really small like that. These are like my core products. I use every routine. Rescue does not go over my eyes, but recovery does. Did I say that? Did you see how I did that? I just kind of go around, but recovery, I will go all over closed eyes. Um, just because. Oh, it's good to see you too, Alex. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Um, okay, so those are that. Okay, so now what other new products? Okay, so let's do Gold Fat and Bright Eyes. And that has Arnica in it and all kinds of nice things. I do like the packaging. It reminds me of um, Jordan Samuels. I just, I just think this is the best packaging for um, eye products. Um, uh, yes, Rescue is, um, Jess, Jesse saying that Happy, I got into Rescue, it's his ride or die. I love it. And Jesse, do you prefer the old or the new formula? I, I can't really say that I care either way, um, nor do I feel like I have noticed too much of a difference either. But look at this, I love this packaging. And the only reason Jordan's is, is larger is because this is a one ounce. Um, this is a one ounce size and this is a half ounce, but I just, I don't know, it's just so streamlined and it's perfection and I love Jordan's eye gel. Um, I really like, I like slathering this on at night, but I, and, and wearing it as sort of like an eye mask um, at nighttime. Um, this, I love this and it's great for puffiness and, and hydration with hydration without being heavy. That's tricky, apparently. Um, oh, you can't, Jesse says he can't tell the difference between the old and the new rescue, but you still only buy the new one. <laughs> I know. Cause you're like, cause it's gotta work better somehow. Right? Like why would they reformulate it if it didn't work better? Right. I'm feel. I feel you on that one. I feel you on that one. Okay. 
So the Gold Fed and Bright Eyes, this was just sent to me, but I've had this before and I remember really liking it. So I'm excited that it came back. Um, the only thing about the line that I'm disappointed in, I mean, look at this great, this looks like a great cleanser, pure, uh, pure start. Um, <laughs> look at this cleanser. You can't see it here. Look, okay. So, you know, it's like, oh, what's that? But it has um, grapefruit in it. And when you're trying to avoid that, um, you know, that happens. But they do have it in the eye cream, but I tend to be okay with fragrance and um, that type of stuff around my eyes. It's more of the cheeks. Do you see where I can flush the nose, the chin, where I can't be having that stuff. Um, or watch me turn red right now with the gold fat and we'll see. But um, I did have a fragranced SK2. Um, I'm doing that, pumping it a million times and nothing's coming out because it's new. They just didn't want to freak people out. No, Rescue, yeah. I remember. I still remember the dedicated video that Lee did on um, her Skin Beautiful RX channel um, to keep us all calm because, you know, when you love a product like that. Okay, so it's typical looking white cream. And I want to say that it was reminiscent of the texture of, um, but this looks a little milkier. I was going to say BR's VIP02 eye cream, um, but this is looking a little bit like more milky. Yeah, and going on, it looks a little bit more shiny. I don't know if you can see that. I love how when I put on eye cream, like my mouth is open. Like, like am I pulling my skin down? I don't know, I'm not sure. You just start to notice the funny faces you make when you do something, when you've got a camera on you. Versus when you don't. And I always, I'm an eye cream, I like to put, I like to put the most of my eye cream here and then in here and then, and then I like to go up on the, the orbital bone here. It's just what, it's just how I like to do. I don't know. That feels like, I feel, it feels refreshing, almost like a little bit cooling. What do you think? I mean, you know, it's a nice eye cream. I'm happy to have it and I will play with it and use it. Um, I don't know how it's going to stand up against my all time favorite daytime eye cream, which is the BR VIP02. I mean, this just, this is almost like a makeup product for me because I don't wear, I don't wear, um, um, like a camouflaging, um, base of makeup on my skin that this is a finishing product for me and the way that it looks on my skin, um, like comparing how I know this looks on my skin versus how the bright eyes is looking on my skin. Like it's the bright eyes I would say is shinier and the glow and the shine um, of, of it f from what I can see in the mirror. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's actually, I actually feel like I can see my fine lines because of the glow. Where this is so, has such like a softening effect. I'm always on the hunt for an eye cream that helps with puffiness. That's my issue. <laughs> right? Always wanting to try new stuff. Okay, so I wonder if I can put the VIP02 on top and see if we can see like a difference just to play around because that's what we do here and get maybe we can get that pretty finished look that I love so much even though we're layering it over top Let's see if we can get it still got a little bit of shine to it coming through the bright eyes is pretty shiny but I already feel like I can't see the fine lines over here that I can so clearly see over here. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my mind, but 
So for, so as someone who has uses their, I use my eye cream as a finishing product. I'm not gonna layer stuff on top of my eye cream. Um, I even will touch up, I have a little travel size of this at work and we'll touch up like after lunch, like I'll go out to my car, maybe take a nap, come in and kind of touch up. And I just feel like it just, it really is a great midday pickup. It really does brighten, soften, hydrate, and 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 soften the look of those fine lines. I just, I just love it. I just love it. I can't, I can try it as an eye mask like you do. Yeah, I was not a fan of the Jordan Samuel eye product. I can try, yeah, try it like an eye mask, especially like Leo, maybe like in the mornings. I don't know when you're most puffy, but I'm always thinking like in the mornings, like, when you, first thing when you wake up, just go and slather some on and kind of do your day and then, you know, and then wash your face and put your eye product, eye cream, whatever that you're going to wear um, for, for your daytime. So maybe as like a little treatment. So I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to try the Definage eye cream next. Ooh, ooh, okay. You guys report back. Let me know. Okay. Now let's move. Oh, let's let's show you guys the um This is the Sculpla um promoter repair cell and it's got polylactic acid in it and it's really strange looking. Okay? So I just I don't know, I just like to I like to show you guys this stuff cuz it's crazy. Um oh, and massage it with cryo sticks, right? I saw Jenny Patikin just came out with cryo sticks, but I didn't see how much they are. And I don't, I haven't ever bought cryo sticks because I know that they would just sit in my freezer. So, okay, so here's the um, cell repair cream and they sell this at um, Skin Beautiful RX. And it's got polylactic acid. It's got snail mucin. It's got, is it a bunch of, oh, growth factor, epidermal growth factors four different types of epidermal growth factors. I don't know, it's some po some really potent stuff. And I really like how it's not like, it's very lightweight. Okay, you guys are gonna freak out when you see like how stringy, weird, sticky this looks, but it feels so nice on the skin. Very lightweight, not heavy at all. And in fact, um, I'll put my um, really sort of heavier SPF over top in the day and then at night, I'll actually put a moisturizer over top of it. And I kind of find myself to be more on the combination side. So a more oily, not dry. So, um, yeah, so check it out. Watch this. I'm doing the sound effect. Sorry, it's not making that sound. So it's supposed to, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to help like plump and kind of fill in um over time not not cosmetically right away um and, but it should take like a couple months for me to see this and you did you see my skin just turned like a little bit pink um this does have a little bit of grapefruit extract in it but because the ingredients list is so full of things that i want to try that i'm taking one for the team and using it but grapefruit extract is very, very low on the list. And you see like my skin's already back to normal. So it feels okay. Um, is it, I thought, okay, so I think the snail mucin does make it sticky, but I think it was um, Christine Breyer that was saying that the polylactic acid, that's also a sign that there's a lot of polylactic acid in it, which is a sign of something that you wanna see in your product that you're buying with polylactic acid so I'm pretty sure but also I've seen stuff with stale, snail mucin in it that has that same texture so um yeah I'm a little bit confused but I'm not I still I, I still want to use it and what's exactly making it stringy I uh, is obviously not that big of a concern to me if I don't know the answer 100% um, 
Cody gifted to me, but I got one from Amazon and compare same exact thing. Right. Okay. The BR, the BR cryo sticks. And then you can, get, they're like a hundred and something dollars, but you can buy the same exact ones on Amazon, I think for like 12 or 24. Right. Right. Um, so Leo, I do not get, um, oily with this moisturizer. And I think that's, that was another one of the selling points is, um, Christine was saying that it was her number one summer product pick um, outside of SPF and the big, it, the big part of the pick besides all of the great ingredients was that it's so lightweight, it's great in heat. Um, and it actually has, um, I can't remember what ingredient it was, um, that even helps with breakouts and keeping the skin in a antimicrobial type of state against you know there's there's always microbes and bacteria on your face but a, an environment that doesn't feed um breakouts so good for breakout prone skin um and not too heavy so for evening time i will even go so far i'll usually for daytime i'll put my spf over top which is heavy enough and then in the evenings i've been um grabbing this so i've been so um, when I need something, I'm just putting a little bit of the um, Indeed. Oops, sorry. I'm getting low. The um, the um, Indeed Labs in Circadian um, Night Mask, which is just a heavier moisturizer. But I'll just get a little bit of it and kind of put it on my drier areas. Oh, they, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> just looks like a sort of a, a cream. I do like the finish of this. Um, it's not greasy. It's much more of like a, a satiny mat. And I like to really focus the heaviest application on my lower half of my face. I still have a pretty oily T-zone. Um, so here and then my neck is really most important. Okay, we did want to try the Paula's Choice Lip Balm and then we need to get out of here. Um, Okay, so here's the new Polish Choice um, Hyaluronic Acid Peptide Lip Booster with squalene. Boop, right? Fresh, fresh out of the box. It's the first time I've taken it out. Let's look at the ingredients real quick. I don't think we need to worry about anything alarming on here. My lips are not um, noticeably sensitive. Oh, how cute. All skin types. Okay. I like their packaging reformula or, or uh, repackaging labeling and stuff that they did a few years ago. I really do like it. Okay, so it's got the metal applicator. Feels cool to the touch. It almost reminds me of the BR eye cream one. Where's that? Look at that. That's cute. A little different shape but very similar and it does feel cooling so for the heat of summer that would be nice okay now I'm gonna give it a squeeze hopefully we don't spit it out onto the phone oh there we go there's some okay here can you see that so it is a little bit runny so it's not as ointmenty as I thought from the picture you see that let's try it let's see is it Okay, you can definitely tell the squalene in it. It feels more oily. Mm-hmm. So like a really thin ointment, more of like a, a serum -y oil feel. So definitely like, like how the Dr. Dennis Gross one, I always describe it as like skincare for your lips. I wouldn't, meaning, you know, you could like take the Dr. Dennis Gross like all around the outside of your lips. This is not something that I would do that with, at least not initially. It feels much more like oily. I really like the applicator. I'm going to sit here all night. Like, yeah. Well, that's nice. 
I also, I'm kind of thinking this would be definitely nicer. I wonder, okay, the Dr. Dennis Gross is really lightweight. Um, that like layering the two even, oh my God, that would be really nice. Um, I'm also thinking as I'm playing with this, um, I live in Alaska, if you don't know, and I'm starting to think about fall and winter because it's August <laughs> and um, how this could be really nice come especially like colder months. I'm always thinking about and I always like something like heavy that I can kind of like slather on before bed. Not that this is super heavy, but I'm just starting to think in that mindset. Um, because if I fall asleep and I do some mouth breathing or something like that, my lips can get really dried out. I'm always thinking of a good sleeping lip product. So, and there's the, sh I mean, it definitely has a little bit of a shine, but it's not sticky. It's not sticky or glossy. Um, but it definitely does have um, a shine to it from what I can see in the mirror, hopefully. What I see in the mirror, what you guys see in the viewers. Um, but yeah, I think this, I mean, I'm definitely, I'm gonna wear this out right now. I gotta go, I'm gonna leave. Um, so we got new products that we tried. Um, this is definitely a hit. I love when Paula's Choice sends me stuff. I'm definitely going to um, be putting the full test to this. I'm not sure. I might try this one more time just to see about that sticky sort of residue feeling that I had. Um, I think it's good for a skin type that's not mine. A younger skin, a more oily skin, maybe a teenage boy might want this. Um, and then what else did we try that's new? Oh, let's try this really quick. Really quick and then we'll go. Um, the Gold Fadden Hands to Heart. Um, it's a hand cream, right? I mean, it better be I'm about to put it on my hands. Niacinamide, glucosamine, and retinol gives rough, cracked, and aged hands immediate relief. Oh, I need this. Reduces the appearance of dark spots. I always miss this one. Look at, I have this one here. Um... Leaving hands smooth, soft, and hydrated. Hydrates dry, cracked hands, fades the appearance. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Let's just try it really quick. I think it also has citrus in it, but it's going on my hands, so who cares, right? Looks like a lip gloss. I agree, lasts so long on the lips. Like, still there when I wake up. Yes. So, yeah, Jesse, I want something, I want something that I can put on my lips at night and that even if I, like, mouth breathe or do something I, i'll wake up in the morning and still feel my lip product right let me actually squeeze some out I, have, I i think it has like a light scent okay so let me also demo my hand cream technique i always dispense hand cream on the back of my hand let's do this let's take the watch off while we're here so we can like kind of take any excess up the arm okay so this is what I do because I'm all about getting hand cream on the backs of my hands I do not need super lubed palms I need to leave my office I need to go to my keyboard I need to grab door handles I need to do things in my house you know what I mean so really what where I want hand cream is on the backs of my hands so I'll dispense it on the back and then just take my hands and do this Super easy. I do it in public all the time and people look at me weird, but I'm teaching as I go. <laughs> um, I do have a coworker that told me that he does it this way now and um, that he learned it from me. So that made me feel good. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll get it, you know, get it, get it on the sides here even, you know, get it everywhere. Okay, and then once I've got it kind of, see, you can still see it. You can still see it on my hands. Then I'll take my palms and sort of like wipe up, wipe down to the fingers, right? So I'm spreading it out and getting a little bit on my palms. Because if you wash with soap and water, you want something on your palms, but just not that much. Oh, it does have a, like a bright sort of scent, like kind of fresh. 
maybe maybe slightly citrusy kind of crisp yeah like a little bit citrusy so that's nice okay so that's the other new product the hand cream and this is going to come in handy um I'm thinking either I could keep this at my desk at work or I'm looking over at my nightstand right now if I could put this on my nightstand and have it before bed hey Sash hey girl it's my my friend in IRL is here um so that's that so we tried those new things tonight. Um, if you wanna go back and rewatch why I don't like that LED mask, um, I'm gonna put this up on stories. No, I'm gonna put it on IGTV. There's too many platforms on IG now. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I am now running late. I gotta get to Eagle River. Um, I will talk to you all very soon. Thanks for hanging out with me and being so nice. Have a good night.